And jubilation is one of the best ways to describe the incredible energy we felt throughout Trinidad and Tobago at the 2024 Crypto Games because the team definitely made us proud. And we are happy to say that we have in studio with us this morning TT track and field coach Wendell Williams, Janeda Gans, Austin Sealy Trophy who win the Austin City Trophy, rather, of the Crypto Games 2024. We'll get into all that in a little bit. And Tafari Waldron, also a gold medalist. Good morning to all three of you, and welcome. Morning. morning. How are you all doing this morning? Um, I'm great. Blessed, <laughs> blessed and highly favored. You, you came in with the energy this morning. That is for sure. So we are grateful for that as well. It's great to have both of you back on the show. You came before the show. And you definitely... Hmm? Before the games. <laughs> <laughs> you came before the games. And you are now here. As winners. So we're going to start off with you. How do you feel, Tafari? In terms of the... In the, terms of the win, the how do you feel? <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I feel proud of myself mm -hmm. though, because I've been preparing for this since last year. Right. Um, I wanted to defend my title and I was coming hard to defend it. So um, it's a proud emotional time for me mm -hmm. on the track. And now as I think back at it, I'm proud of myself with all the hard work, pay off and everything. Excellent. And we're going to talk about that hard work in a little bit. But before we get to that, Janine, how does it feel to be here now? Um, I just said, oh, honestly, because looking back at my journey, you know, mm -hmm. my first character game, not getting to medal individually, and then coming, my second character game, getting a silver medal. I wanted a gold, but I know mm -hmm. everything is gold time. And, Amen. And then... To come here and win the goal and also win the Austin Sealy Award, it's just like a proud moment and it just will help me to motivate the young women or the, the, the um, athletes in Trinidad to be good at anything is possible. Anything is possible. Did you set out to break the long jump record for of girls course, under 20? <laughs> <laughs> you know, my, when I my, into the season, my first jump, my first um, jump was 6.25 mm -hmm. and then I better it in my second second time competition with a leap of 6.40 and in my mind I always I said Johnny you're gonna break that record you just have to go out there and execute in character games and I, what I said you know it happened so you know and my coach had faith to me my coach always trusted me I know always motivate me so both of us knew that he was going after the record and it is broken now. <laughs> it is broken now. Congratulations. Thank and you. The power of hard work, which you would have just mentioned. You mentioned hard work as well. But somebody who can definitely bring the hard work together <laughs> is Wendell. So, Wendell, tell us a little bit about what the preparation was like for wow. these young athletes. Um, so, I am Janice's jumps coach. Mm -hmm. She has um, a sprint coach um, mm -hmm. or sprint coaches, um, Ken Martin and uh, Donnell Stafford. And, uh, well, Tafara is a middle and long Athlete, so he has a, a different coach. Mm -hmm. um, but f with Jani, it was sh a struggle because we had to um, coordinate with the sprints, with her school, mm -hmm. and with with me. Um, but as Jani rightfully said, we battled through that, yeah. and we did what we were supposed to do. Um, it was long hours, long weeks. Weekends also, um, I, I saw Tafari, or I, mm -hmm. I saw Tafari train, mm -hmm. and this young boy trains with dedication, mm -hmm. just as hard as Jane and all the other athletes mm -hmm. would put in their work, but he has a different mindset, so I know he's going to be awesome in the future. Excellent. So let's get into that mindset, Tafari. What was your preparation like to, in order to defend your title? It, it never easy. Okay. It never easy. First of all, never easy. Um, so it takes a lot of men. You have to be mentally strong mm -hmm. to continue to because it's up times that you want to. You feel tired. You don't want to train. You might feel de demotivated. And that was that was coaches. The coaches come in because mm -hmm. my coach, he he always try to continue to motivate us and make sure that we put in that extra step to make sure we do what we have to do. Make sure we come train on time. Make sure we train properly. And that is one thing that you need. You need to have a drive yeah. for it, um, and you need to want it. So because it's going to be hard. And besides the part being hard, it's you just have to stay consistent in doing what you have to do, and your success will come. I mean, so. your success is definitely going to come. We've seen it come with you, which is absolutely excellent. But one of the things that you mentioned is discipline. 
and consistency. And while we, of course, understand the need for a coach, you also have to be able to draw that discipline and consistency from yourself as well. Mm -hmm. So how do you get to that space or how did you get to that space to be able to bring that out in yourself every single day? Just by knowing what I want, I know I want to be a double two-time champion. Mm -hmm. I know I want to defend my title. I know I want to be one of the best junior male long distance runners from Trinidad. Mm -hmm. So just by keeping any back of my mind, I know what I have to do to achieve it. And that is what I'm um, continuing to keep me, drive me and keep me moving forward. Excellent. And what about you, Janine, when it comes to discipline and consistency? <laughs> I hear Wendell, Wendell starts to laugh. So. <laughs> Well, my goal is to be one of the best Trinidad and Tobago athlete, female athlete. Mm -hmm. And I think once you have that mindset that you're going to be the best, you have to work towards it. Sometimes you might feel like giving up or you might have situations in your life that makes you feel like, you know, like a stepping, like make you feel like you're, you're, you're back against the wall, but everything is a stepping stool. I think once you have that mindset that you're going to push through and you're not going to give up, then yeah. <laughs> and definitely no giving up that's for no sure giving. now Wendell as an Olympian how do you how when you look at these two young athletes among with the other young athletes of course as well do you see that potential coming from just the discipline oh, alone definitely definitely so the reason I love just now is um, sometimes when we we, we I, I would give them my training especially with jumps is contacts mm -hmm. so is build up on contacts and sometimes I would say all right we have one more and Johnny might not get it or the other athletes might not get it in that one more and she would say coach just one more mm -hmm. that one I feel good one more wow. so that is why I, I, I uh, laughed there because she is dedicated she is one of the fighters who as she m mentioned early on the curve, the curve to be, um, two characters were in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I was not there as, as the coach. And she told me, she said, Coach, next character, I don't know how you're doing it, but you have to be there. Mm -hmm. um, she did, as she rightfully said, she did. Um, she wanted the goal. And we really and truly prepared for that. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't happen. Uh, but she came out fighting. Yeah. She came out, I think, what made her different is after um, Commonwealth Youth, when she came second to the girl from Australia, she decided, you know what, I'm going to go first and I'm going to go hard. Mm -hmm. Let them come after me. And I think that is what that victory came from this year. Excellent. Bad. Yeah, bad mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very. She's very bad mind. Um, tell us a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fantastic thing. Make sure that you keep it. Tell us a little bit, Coach, about the, um, the training structure? Because we assume, of course, that there is a lot of training that takes place. Yes, Are we looking at something that's on a daily basis or maybe do we get some breaks in between? Um, well, my, my program is a five-day program for the week, wow. right? Um, Jenny does some days. She, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday is jumps mm -hmm. um, by me. Mm -hmm. And she does also sprint by Ken Barton and um, Donnell. Okay. So if she does two training sessions with jumps by me mm -hmm. this week, it would rotate next week, the following week, with three. So we have that balance. We have a very good coordination with, with Ken and, and Donnell in prospect with how she trains. She also does um, strength and condition yeah, sure. by um, Orlando Griffin. Yeah. So that's interesting yeah. because of course you people think about practice and not necessarily all the other types of training that needs to go into it. Now let's talk about you are the track and field coach for the team. What was the energy like going in versus the energy coming out <laughs> all right. of the games? Um, so from onset I, I was named head coach mm -hmm. and from onset I along with the team mm -hmm. so we decided at, as a team we would bring that energy and we started from train from onset training as a tr the trainer the big tto team mm -hmm. is going to be energy tafara and jenny were, were named um captains of the team so that energy came from onset where we decided um the team would gel together and always push you so yeah 
Okay, excellent. So we've spoken about the Crifter Games and the Crifter Games for some, or for all of you rather, is just a stepping stone. So Tafari, I want to start with you. You knew that you wanted to go in and defend, you defended. What do you see for the future or what do you, where do you want to be in the realm of sports in the future? I want to reach the food as I can reach. Um, I was going to be working that and I want to reach like the first I could possibly be, if it's even as world class, mm -hmm. even if it's a little under world class, that's going to be the best I could possibly be. That is my long term future. But for now, I just focus on I'm remaining injury free, mm -hmm. continue cutting down my time so I could make higher level teams like World and 20 Champs and right. so on, so I can match the competition out there, so I can continue putting um, the country in my full long distance because it now, now come on, we more known for the sprints and stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Definitely. I mean, you're already doing that. Let's be real about it. Now, you, we, when we spoke earlier, you spoke about consistency, discipline, and so much more. Now that you are looking at working towards that, do you necessarily have like a strategy in place to be able to balance your time? Because that's something that's super important as well. Um, yeah, I do. I'm still in school. Um, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not easy to balance your school and the, um, the track. Yeah. Um, and sometimes I have to pay a little extra like run in morning and go to school and come back in the evening. So it's um So what time do you wake up in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I just get up four o'clock. So you'll run at four o'clock in the morning? Yeah. And then I'll come back home before six before seven and mm -hmm. get ready and head out one time for seven forty. Dedication, boy. <laughs> that is dedication. <laughs> well I mean the future is in good hands and you're definitely going to excel in the world stage. That is for sure. If you have this dedication, no, there's nothing that could hold you back at all. And you have a fantastic team behind you as well. All right, Janae, what about you? Where do you see yourself in the future? <laughs> <laughs> as I said earlier, um, to become one of the best Jane and Tobago athlete, female athlete, I'm on to win three gold medals in the Olympics. All right, there we go. We have some intention setting this morning on the Now Morning Show. That is for sure. Wendell, any words of wisdom? Um, definitely keep, keep trusting in your coach. Um, Believe in yourself and trust God. God always has a plan. And as Jenny, I, I, I plug, I take in this plug from her. Um, <laughs> she say, um, everybody has their season. Amen. And you need to just wait, be patient. God always shows up. Amen to that. I can't say anything after that, boy. Excellent <laughs> clues. Wendell Williams, track and field coach, Janae DeGans, and of course, Tafari Waldron with us this morning, sharing their excellent wins at Carifta and what's coming in the future. And what's coming up in the future on now? Stay tuned to find out.